Well, if you're trying to connect your keyboard and mouse to your Mac Mini, you've come to the right place because I'm going to make this short and sweet. So in my case, I got the Mac Mini. I've got this keyboard, which is Bluetooth, this mouse, which is Bluetooth, and you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find the keyboard and mouse like I'm using. But whether you're using this, which I love this keyboard and mouse, by the way, or you've got an existing Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, you probably found that you got your Mac Mini out of the box and you can't type and you can't use the mouse because this has no cable. So it's not physically connected to the, uh, to the Mac Mini, at least at the time of filming this video, you're not going to be able to set up your Mac Mini. So you get it out of the box, you got your Bluetooth mouse and keyboard and you're stuck. So what do you do? We're gonna make it simple. So the simplest thing to do, now keep in mind, Mac Mini uses USB-C. So the simplest thing to do is just find a standard USB keyboard that's sitting around and uh, get a USB-C to, or USB Alpha, USB-A to USB-C converter. And I've linked that within this video's description. Very affordable. That's assuming you've got a USB Alpha keyboard sitting around, just a standard USB keyboard. It could be many years old, doesn't matter. And you'll need the same thing for a mouse. You've got a standard USB Alpha mouse and you'll need the adapter. So if you've got the mouse, if you've got a USB-A mouse, a USB-A keyboard, all that you'll need are two adapters. And like I said, I'll link those within this video's description. Because what you're going to do with the Mac Mini out of the box new, when you set it up, you're gonna have that keyboard and that mouse physically connected. And then once you get the Mac Mini set up, you'll go into Bluetooth and you'll pair using Bluetooth your Bluetooth keyboard. And after you've paired your Bluetooth keyboard, you'll do the same. You'll pair your Bluetooth mouse. And at that point going forward, your Mac Mini knows that that's your keyboard and your mouse. But for the initial Mac Mini keyboard and mouse setup, you've got to be physically connected. Now, the exception is if you spent and got the Apple branded keyboard, the Apple branded mouse, obviously that's going to work. But one of the most attractive things about the Mac Mini is being able to buy it on a, on a budget when you're talking about Apple products and bring your own keyboard bring your own mouse, bring your own monitor. But if you've done that, and you're like, man, I can't even get my keyboard and my mouse to work. That's how you do it. So again, expand this video's description, and I've linked the little USB-A to USB-C adapters there. You will, and you don't necessarily have to get two, because what you could do is you could use one, get your keyboard going, and then flip it over to your mouse. But if you want it to be more streamlined, just order two of those adapters, they're cheap. And like I said, I've also linked the USB uh, keyboard and USB mouse like I use within this video's description. And I've also linked, in case you don't have an old USB-A keyboard, USB-A mouse, I've linked a couple of cheap options within this video's description as well. And honestly, what I would do if I didn't have a USB-A keyboard and a USB-A mouse, I would probably just ask somebody to borrow them. And then that way, all I'd have to do is buy that USB-A to USB-C converter for my initial setup. Because once you've paired your Bluetooth keyboard and your Bluetooth mouse, you don't need that wired keyboard and that wired mouse anymore. Hope this video helped. If it did, send me a super thanks. Not required, but if you choose to do so, you can click that thanks button down below this video. It helps, to support, it helps to support videos like this one. And again, if you're buying the equipment, maybe you want to buy a new Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, expand this video's description and click the links there. That helps me a lot too. Thanks for your viewership. You got questions, comment below, and I'll try my best to respond within an upcoming video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and 
Y'all have a good day.